Okay, so this will be the last wishing well video till further notice. Um, you see here I got some chains, some clamps. I epoxied them so they couldn't open them because I got to remember I'm entering this into a contest and there's a possible chance it's going to be in a public place. So I'll paint this up, touch it up, then I'll scuff it up. And then so what I did, I put the chain around back here and I put some screws and washers through the chain. So now I'm going to get the rope and wrap the rope around it. So it looks like, you know, the, the chain and the rope, whatever. This will be tightened up after because I'll have to remove the bucket. Okay, so I got this uh, twine rope. I'm going to wrap it around there. But um, I think it's going to be a little bit too bright. Like it looks too new. What do you think? I think I should make it darker. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it around and cut the length that I need. It's going to spool all the way to about here. Okay, that's going to be it for me today. Quick day. I'm going to go home and rest. I got some roofing felt down in here. I caulked it in, like glued it in. So it'll just protect the wood a bit when there's flowers in there and water in there and dirt. Then I'll drill some drain holes in there once all this gets cured and is dry. I got the bucket on. Um, this is super tight. I brad nailed it on the back and I, put, I hammered the nails in so nobody will ever get cut by the nails. Nobody's ever going to steal this. And that's the way the bucket hangs. Like that. Also, thanks who gave me the reminder to put the dowel piece in here. So it's going to come, I drilled the hole all the way through. And it's going to come like this, like this. And you'll see the bottom of it. So this piece can't slide out, right? That's all. That right there is called getting your money's worth. I uh, hopefully got all the shingles split for the caps. I've been dreading doing this. But anyways, carry on. It's 5.30 in the morning. Didn't sleep. I think that bucket might be a little bit long too. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyways, now I gotta put the caps on. There you go, hand split roof by Jordy Johnson at Carving Fusion. Good enough for me. You guys know what I used to call my roofing company? Top Dog Roofing, like D-A-W-G. Top Dog Roofing. Let me see if I can find any oil around, maybe I'll oil it. All right, found some old Sheffield Peak Oil lying around here, so I got my spray gun filled up. Well, only about a quarter of the way because there's barely any oil in this. If I put it on by brush, I don't think I'll have enough. But if I use this, I'll have enough. Anyways. I gotta turn the pressure down.
Still got to turn the pressure down for the other side. That's all. Okay, the roof is done. Thank hallelujah for that. I've been stressing about it. So now, I'm gonna take this uh, bucket off. If I can get these, oh yeah, I can take it off right here. I'm gonna epoxy these on. Like these ones here are epoxied, so they can't be taken off. But this one, I'm gonna take this bucket off and cut two inches off the bottom. I just think it hangs a little bit too low for people that wanna put, when they put flowers in there, the flowers might hit the bottom of the bucket. But anyways, it's starting to rain. I gotta get a tarp over this roof. Tarp time. Okay, so I cut it, burnt it. Now I'm just gonna spray it with this stuff just to protect it a bit, whatever. That's all. So, it looks like they're calling for rain all day today. So I think I'm pretty well done with this. I think what I'm gonna do for now is take this scaffolding down, take it back to where it belongs because it's not mine, and uh, just tarp this up and then call that a day. It's almost done, I'm just so happy the roof is done. All I need to do now is buy some flowers, put some dirt in there, um, plant them, put some dirt in here, put some flowers in there, plant it, make it look nice for the pictures, for the show thing. Okay, so it doesn't look like this uh, rain's gonna let up today. This is the worst um, spring I can re ever remember. It's oh, raining, raining, non-stop raining. A little bit of sun, rain, rain. Just terrible. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you guys what my projects are. I gotta carve uh, uh, a tree, it's a memorial piece. I gotta carve a tree, big tree that goes on a wall and then they'll get these leaves made. Anybody that donates money, We'll get the name on the leaf. I gotta do that. That's a big project. I gotta carve a, a whale, a sperm whale jumping out of the water chainsaw. I got to uh, go over to my buddy Fuck Bob's on Vancouver Island and um, do three days carving there. And I gotta pull out some. I gotta pull out some bigger wood from my shop. I'll show you guys. So, Robin, I'll be bringing your pieces. Here's the first one. And there's your second one. See, I got them all ready for you. Uh, guys, Robin's a subscriber. She lives on, uh, Robin and her husband. She lives on, not Galliano, but Salt Spring Island. And she bought these carvings for me. So I'm going to take them over to her. A root head and a nice cedar one. So, anyways... I got to pull out, look at the size, this is for that tree project, the size of this slab. I got to pull out this big huge root head, which is massive, and I got a plan. I got a plan. That big log that I carved the wishing well, I, car I carved a big wood spirit and another log exactly like that. I split the log in the half and there's a log there, back there. And I want to carve a waterfall. Yep, that's going to be, I want to get it out. 
but I'm not going to be able to carve the waterfall anytime soon. I got too many commissioned projects I got to do. So pretend this is the log when I got it cut so there'll be a qu couple koi fish going up the sides, maybe two and one. And then down the middle the water will be coming down and I might even concrete some uh, river stones into it so it looks like the, the, the koi fish are going up a river or something. Anyways. Ah oh man, I got so much stuff to move around in here. It's a friggin' nightmare. But I got a little bit of energy left. Like I said, I haven't slept, so maybe I'll do that now. Look at the size of that rude head. That sucker's seven feet. I'll put my hand there so you guys can see for reference. That's gonna be a big fucker. Oops, pardon my language. That's for my uh, friends. Um, I got this big log out with the dolly. Hold on. So this one is going to be, you guys remember I carved a big wood spirit? This one is going to be a waterfall. I don't know. Uh, this is going to be later in the year. Like I said, there might be a koi fish on each side. And then I'll get some river rocks in the center. The water can come down the river rocks and sit in the bucket down here. Or you guys think I should do a big wood spirit and the water comes out of its mouth. Anyways, look at all the room I got in my tent now. Who remembers the baby dinosaur? Just carved rub, you remember that guy? Yeah, he's not done. Just sitting there, chilling out. Look at all the room I got, all right. Now I can bring these logs in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be a wrap for today. Got the, the fountain thing covered up, wishing wells all covered up, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I, I think I sweated out some of the sickness. Hope you guys are all good. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Yep, made a good call leaving. It is just pissing out. That's Big Ben the clock.